I have four voltage dividers, each designed to produce the same voltage for an LED. Each voltage divider takes the 5 volt source, measured at 4.0 volts here, and divides it in half. So we find that we should get 2.35 volts for each divider. So sure enough, when the LED is not connected for each of the four, we get, in fact, very close to 2.35 volts. Next, we need to connect an LED as a load. The LED needs about two volts in order to glow brightly. Let's try it with the first one. Okay, that's pretty bright. Here's the second one. Third, getting dimmer. And the fourth is barely coming on. So clearly something's different here. Now let's make a careful measurement of the divider's voltage with and without the LED load. So it, without the load, it's 2.35 volts. With the load, it's 1.93 volts. That's very close to the two volts that I mentioned earlier is necessary for the LED. Starts out as 2.34. Now it's only 1.84 volts when the LED connects. So we're not quite getting close to that two volts that we needed. Okay, this one's even lower at 1.76. And finally, when the LED does not glow very brightly at all, it's only seeing 1.67 volts. Now, producing a stable voltage regardless of loading does in fact come at some cost. Let me show you what I mean by that. I've disconnected the wires up to the 5 volt supply so that I can then replace it with an ammeter. So the ammeter serves as the wire and it also allows us to measure the current. So for the first divider, even with nothing connected, we've got 23.6 milliamps. For the second divider, it's, a, it's a now only 2.4 milliamps. This one only requires a quarter of a milliamp, and the last one requires only 0.02 milliamps.